What's good, guys? Prince Sports here coming at you with another one. Drink the coffee here. Make you feel better. Congratulations. Salute to Team USA for bringing home the gold medal for the United States of America. Represent all 50 states doing us some justice, right? Also, congratulations to uh, the women's basketball team. Ironically, they beat France too by a point. So we got the gold for women's basketball. And we got the gold for men's basketball, proving that we are the best when it pertains to basketball. And that's how it's supposed to be, because that is a 100% American sport, and we should always be dominating in basketball. But I don't want to talk about that right now. Stephon Marbury said that Stephen Curry should have been Olympic MVP over LeBron James. Now... Before I even get into that, when it comes to Olympic awards, I 100% forget that they even give an MVP for an Olympic gold medal game. It is so non-important because the big picture is to win a gold medal. Nobody cares um, about a player winning an Olympic MVP. It holds no weight. It's a pointless award matter of fact when did this award even came about because as long as i've been watching the olympics i don't remember guys getting that award you know that just goes to show you how pointless it is of award but the fact that lebron james got it people make a big deal out of it because he tracks a lot of attention but it's still a pointless award uh the main goal of olympic basketball is not to praise the individual it's to praise the team aka dream team aka redemption team aka redeem team aka team usa whatever you want to call them the avengers justice league it's always about the team when it comes to olympic basketball it's not about giving out individual accolades or awards all right with that being said did the right guy win MVP for the Olympics? No, but they gave the award to LeBron James based off his name and politics. And that's the problem with awards these days. Guys get awards for no complete reason that they don't deserve it. Maybe it's just cause of politics or they fit a certain agenda or a certain narrative. Awards are starting to lose value a lot, mainly in basketball. But nevertheless, we just witnessed the greatest shooter of all time that picked up a basketball. Stephon Marbury is right on that too. He saved Team USA not once, but twice. Now LeBron James may have started it off, but in typical LeBron James fashion, he gave you three quarters of basketball, then disappeared for the fourth. That's always been his MO. LeBron James is always good at starting things off, but he never pits the full foot in the water. He dips his toe in the water, but he never goes completely in. He never starts swimming deep down. Right? And you blew it, boy! You really blew it! And that's the problem. That's the problem with LeBron James. You start a lot of stuff, but you don't finish it. So, if we're doing based off starting it, then fine. You could gave him the award. But last time I checked, it's all about winning. Because if it wasn't for Steph Curry, we probably would have lost to Serbia. If it wasn't for Steph Curry, we probably would have lost to France. I mean... It had been a complete different story if Steph Curry wasn't on, wasn't on that basketball court. And it's funny because I kept saying Steph Curry was a non-factor, but he was a factor when it counts most. And that's something that I can never 100% rely on when it comes to LeBron James, hence to why he loses more than wins, hence to why he gets bailed out more by other teammates than taking the blunt of the responsibility and closing it out himself. You know, um, and it's just one of those situations, man. Um, you may be saying, like, hold up. You say LeBron not clutch? I didn't say he's not clutch. But what I am telling you is he don't come do as much as he should. Put it that way. Throughout his career, he's been getting bailed out by player after player. Rather it was a Ray Allen. Rather it was the biggest shot in Cavalier history for uh Kyrie Irving. I mean, the list goes on and on. But you cannot hide his impact on the team, okay? He does give you those good three quarters of basketball. The problem is he doesn't French. 
So if he loses, the first thing you pinpoint to is the first three quarters that he played good at, but disappeared in the fourth, and you don't care about that. You just sit there and say, he had his triple-double. He did his job. He has stats. It's not about that all the time. It's about closing and ending the deal, okay? You could talk about a deal, but it ain't a deal until you shake hands and it's signed on the paper. LeBron don't shake hands and he don't sign the paper, right? <laughs> That's his biggest problem. But other than that, he did good in this, this year's Olympics. And I can't take nothing away from him. Do I think he deserves it? That MVP award? No, but who cares? Because it's a pointless award anyway. This is what I'm trying to tell you. is I didn't even see them give the award to LeBron James when I was watching it. I didn't, you know, so I didn't care. All I cared was the fact that they got gold medal because that's the main objective to playing Olympic basketball is to prove bragging rights, to prove to the whole world that we are the best in basketball. That's all it comes down to, all right? Sports out, drink the coffee and make you feel better. I need to drink some right now because I am not feeling better. My vote. Peace. <laughs>